Welcome to FPG Design with MATLAB and Simulink. We are from Digitronics Nepal. So, this course is based upon FPG Design with MATLAB and Simulink based tools. That is, we are utilizing some tools as system generator and SDL coder as well as SDL verifier, which are available with MATLAB Simulink and traditional FPG Design tools that is IAC and Vivaro so let's go to our today's section actually we are in section 2 while we already talk about installation of MATLAB Simulink and Xilinx Vivaro as well as IAC design suite that means we need to have MATLAB Simulink and Vivaro or IAC so we can only have one FPG design tool that is Vivaro or IAC and if you willing to install Vivaro then that will be more much more interesting and that will be much more uh, helpful for further processes else IAC is also good so we will also have some session with IAC based MATLAB Simulink interfaces so we are in section 2 that is introduction to MATLAB Simulink and SGL code system generator so we already talked about there are different interfaces between MATLAB Simulink and FPG Design Tool that is IAC Vivaro. So those interfaces are System Generator, SGL Coder, and also SGL Verifier. So System Generator provides some type of block integration facility as Simulink. So we can also import some block which are available at Simulink and which are verified for System Generator in System Generator window, and we can generate ESGL from ESGL coder so our traditional MATLAB simulating project can be generated into ESGL format so we have uh, some introduction session of MATLAB and simulating in this session and we have lecture 2 of ESGL coder and system generated introduction and then lecture 3 is program Xilinx Jink SOC system on chip devices with embedded coder and ESGL coder and lecture 4 is program Xilinx FPGA using SGL coder with Xilinx system generator. So let's go to our uh, topic. So we are having introductory session of MATLAB. So MATLAB is matrix laboratory. So MATLAB provides some mathematical and logical computation and calculation so these are used for high performance computing and some high performance research so or high in resources so MATLAB provides different type of uh, environments like we can include different type of building blocks with Simulink on MATLAB and we can also compute different type of like mathematical problems in MATLAB that is available at some script of MATLAB so we can utilize that MATLAB script and process our different type of inputs and get the outputs there so MATLAB is very much powerful so it is heavily used for different uh, research purposes and projects also so we can even create some graphical user interface and some application there in MATLAB and many of the projects also harvest that uh, features of MATLAB on design of different embedded systems so on talking about FPGA so MATLAB is also providing some interfaces for FPGA design so that interfaces which we are going to utilize on this course session so we can have different uh, components of MATLAB that is MATLAB language actually we write our problem or write our inputs and algorithm in MATLAB in like a matrix uh, calculation with some languages so we can create our dot m file there and we can process that dot m file which includes different syntax of MATLAB programming and we can process for getting the required output uh, as the MATLAB working environment so we can see MATLAB has 
डिफरेंट लाइब्रेरीज एंड डिफरेंट लाइक फंक्शंस अवेलेबल देयर एंड वी कैन आल्सो क्रिएट सम फंक्शंस देयर एंड वी कैन डिफाइन फंक्शंस सो दो थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल एट मैट लैब वर्किंग इन्वायरमेंट सो वी कैन इवन चेंज आवर वर्क स्पेस मैट लैब वर्क स्पेस एंड प्रोजेक्ट वर्क स्पेस एंड अनदर थिंग इज हैंडल ग्राफिक्स सो मैट लैब ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड्स इंटेंस ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस सो वी कैन अपटेन और वी कैन प्रोसेस आवर इनपुट्स from those graphical user interface and there are matlab there are different mathematical functions and libraries in matlab so we can utilize complex arithmetic and like uh, matrix processing and fourier transform based functions there so and there is matlab api so we can utilize that matlab api for uh like creating different other projects which utilize that matlab application peripheral interface sorry application programming interface and process the inputs in other system so we can uh, utilize this matlab methodology in other projects too so we don't need to install matlab there so we can ha only have that ap api and api did all the necessary jobs automatically so another is simulink so matlab and simulink are available at single package so simulink is simulation based design environment and it provides like integration of uh, different building blocks called like ip or we can even say normal block in simulink and those blocks can be customized and can be integrated in simulink environment so we can have Uh, system level design we can also do some simulation and we can even generate some codes other codes like we can generate matlab codes of simulink we can generate ysdl codes of simulink design by using ysdl coder and even system generator and even we can test and verify our design embedded design embedded system design from that simulink environment using different methodology